Peter Butler of Black Sabbath, one of rock's most popular bands from the late 60s to the turn of the century, admitted, I was putting upside down crosses on my wall and pictures of Satan all over. I painted my apartment black. I was getting really involved in it and all these horrible things started happening to me. Butler states, there was a weekly magazine called Man, Myth, and Magic that I started reading which was all about Satan. That and books by Aleister Crowley. Black Sabbath's reunion album liner notes state, quote, Black Sabbath was launched in the U.S. with a party in San Francisco with the head of the Church of Satan, Anton LaVey, presiding over proceedings. All of a sudden, Sabbath were Satan's right-hand men. Black Sabbath became one of hundreds of bands recruiting millions of young people to Satan, reported even to go as far to give altar calls to receive Satan as Lord. Black Sabbath was named after a satanic being that appeared to bass player Geezer Butler after he had already painted his house black and adorned it with upside down crosses and depictions of Satan. This satanic being that appeared at the foot of Butler's bed is considered the fifth mystical member of Black Sabbath who gave them the material for their first three albums. Ozzy Osbourne has admitted that he thinks that he is a vehicle being used by Satan, declaring... I don't know if I'm a medium for some outside source. Whatever it is, frankly, I hope it's not what I think. Satan. I was getting into, not practicing, but reading a lot of spiritualism, and black magic and white magic and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, which, you know, a lot of people were doing at the time, which is like the, the post-hippie generation kind of thing, so all the peace and love is going out the window. And spiritualism and meditation, all that was coming in, so I was interested in that. And um, somebody gave Ozzy this old 16th century book of uh, black magic, and it was all written in, I think it was Latin. And uh, he brought it round to, to my flat, because he knew that I, you know, I was interested in books and magic and all that kind of thing. And I just got this really weird vibe off it. And um, I put it in this cupboard in the apartment that I was living in. And that night, I just like woke up suddenly, and there was just like this black shape <laughs> at the bottom of my bed, and it just seemed—it just vanished into thin air as I was as I was staring at it. And this, I just had the thought, it's got to have something to do with this book that Ozzy brought round for me, and I like leapt out of bed, rushed to the cupboard to throw this book out, and the book was gone. And uh, the next day, I told Ozzy about it. And about three days after that, we came up with our first song, Black Sabbath, and Ozzy just like related the, what, my experience in the lyrics. Big black shape with eyes of fire. We've always, in, within the band, said there is a fifth member, a, a mystical member, yeah. We've always said there's something looking over us. And the, way that, the only way that I can describe that, probably in its best, but the best way for me is, uh, is that when we were um, playing our first songs together, um, and especially our, our first out, you know, the first three albums, for instance, um, we would literally show up in a room, and it was almost as if the songs were already written. That's why I like to call Black Sabbath uh, a phenomenon, um, yeah, rather than a band. Yeah, although it is a rock and roll band, uh, there's a phenomena involved there where that stuff just comes from somewhere. And it just so happened that it, it, we, we happened to be the ones that it came to.